Recoil, a very important mechanic in PvP shooters, and in criminality, it's changed a lot over the game's lifetime. In 1.2, the system was great. When you shot your automatics, they continuously pulled up, forcing you to control each shot with your mouse, leaving every single missed shot up to you. And now, in current criminality, the system has changed into a much, much worse system. There's tons of misconceptions with the system, such as getting less recoil with higher FPS. That's not true. In fact, it's the complete opposite. On 30 FPS, your recoil is dumbed down, more than the game already does it for you, basically halving the recoil. The way this game handles recoil is so strange to me, and different from every single game I've ever played, and much, much easier. Most games, including outside of Roblox, use the exact same system for recoil. You shoot your gun, and it's completely in your control, depending on how good you are with your gun. Games typically balance guns with recoil in mind as well, making more powerful guns have more recoil to make up for their power, and making low damage guns have less recoil so they're more noob friendly. In this system, every single shot forces you to adjust your mouse so you can stay on target, and it's what makes shooting automatics in other games so skill based and engaging, because it's completely in your control. But unfortunately, criminality doesn't do this. Criminality handles recoil like Phantom Forces, where with automatics, the first couple of shots have recoil, like I described, but after that initial recoil, Coil, the gun stops and it basically becomes a laser beam, meaning that the longer you shoot with your guns, the easier it gets, which is the exact opposite for how other games handle it. And for semi-automatic weapons, it's just completely random for the most part, and other guns are just more random than others. When spamming with pistols, there's no consistent pattern they stick to. It's completely random, forcing you to either shoot slow or quick scope with the gun. That's why people do this with the Deagle, because it eliminates the RNG that some of the more aggressive weapons have. Some guns suffer from this problem more, like the FNP and the Deagle, being the worst offenders, and the SKS and the Glock suffering basically the least out of all the guns, making those weapons basically in your control. Another thing worth mentioning is that having your arm broken or completely cut off makes it so you have more recoil, but let's get on to why the system sucks for gameplay. Earlier I mentioned how most good games balance more powerful automatics with recoil to make them harder to use, but more rewarding. Criminality does the exact opposite. The easiest weapons in the game are actually the most powerful weapons in the game, and have the least RNG as well. The AKM and the AK-74 have almost no variation in recoil once the initial recoil ends. This is why it's so easy to do shit like this, because it varies the least. Only having three shots of initial recoil before becoming laser accurate, with very slight horizontal variation. On the other side of the spectrum though, the MAC-10 and the G-18 are the hardest to control. Not only because they stop recoiling after the seventh shot, but are also very random. There's no set pattern with these guns, they just shake like crazy once the initial recoil ends, forcing you to only use them at the range RVVZ wants you to. A good game makes it so these guns are worse at long range because of damage falloff, velocity, and overall less damage. But Krim doesn't do this, they just make it quite literally physically impossible to control at longer distances. This is why the system sucks. It doesn't leave it up to the player to decide whether he should try full autoing that guy with the MP7. He literally just can't because the RNG with weapons that aren't the AKS and the M4 and the Tommy is just so outrageous you literally cannot control it. And with the guns I mentioned, it's so easy to full auto people even at crazy distances. The AK is the most notorious for this. Look at this shit. It's so easy and so rewarding and it's not difficult at all. Why does it have to be this way? I don't understand why he changed the recoil in 1.3. It was fine before, but now it's absolutely horrible because anyone is able to get kills with automatics even at crazy distances. That's why I call this game a fucking joke when it comes to difficulty. This game is labeled as unpredictable and punishing, but none of this is unpredictable. None of this is punishing. It's easy and by the books. But honestly, that's enough complaining for now. Let's rank every single weapon in the game from easiest to hardest in terms of recoil. Weapons in the S tier are the easiest to control, while weapons further below down the list are the hardest to control. Let's start with the automatics because they're easier to rank and more simple. In S tier, we have the AK-74, the AKM, and the UMP. These guns are all extremely similar to each other in terms of recoil. They all stop recoiling after the third shot and have slow fire rates, which are just simply easier to control because you have more time in between each shot. They also have the highest damage, making these the most powerful yet easiest to use guns in the game. In A tier, we have the Tommy and the M4A1. The Tommy stops recoiling after the fifth shot, but has little to no variation after the initial recoil is done, and is basically a laser beam. The M4A1 stops recoiling after the fourth shot, but has a faster fire rate than the AKs and the UMP, making it harder to use. But it's still very easy. In C tier, we have the Uzi and the MP7. The Uzi stops recoiling after the fifth shot, but it's awful iron sights and quite a bit of variation after the initial recoil ends sort of makes it quite difficult. The MP7, on the other hand, 
barely makes it to C tier. It stops recoiling after the seventh shot and has tons of horizontal variation after the initial recoil ends. Plus, its low damage makes it useless at spraying at anything that isn't at point blank. But finally, in F tier, we have the G18 and the MAC-10. The G18 has the most recoil in the game, stopping at the ninth shot, but after its initial recoil, it has this wave pattern that is literally impossible to control. Look at this shit, man. What the fuck is this? The MAC-10 isn't much better, stopping after the 6th shot, but having tons of horizontal variation, anything past point blank is basically impossible with these two weapons. But let's get onto the semi-automatics and burst weapons now. The revolver, snipers, and shotguns aren't being put onto this list for obvious reasons. In S tier, we have 4 weapons. The SKS, Glock 17, Beretta, and the Tech 9. The SKS is probably the most controllable weapon in the game. It doesn't seem to vary at all when spamming, having no horizontal recoil at all. This gun is completely in your control at all times and is perfect for spamming. Beretta is the same exact way, both in burst and in semi-automatic, having very simple vertical jumps. The Tech 9 in semi-automatic is quite tame on recoil, having vertical jumps and slight horizontal variation. But in burst mode, it's A tier, having very easy and simple vertical recoil, but it's much more aggressive than the Beretta. But don't let that fool you, this weapon is still very easy and very annoying to fight against. The Glock 17 is also incredibly consistent, and is mostly in your control with basically purely vertical recoil. The only thing that makes this weapon not perfect is the iron sights. In A tier, we have the Foul, being very consistent and mostly just vertical recoil. It's more aggressive than most guns, but it doesn't vary at all, so if you're good with this weapon, it's crazy powerful. But it's nowhere near as consistent as the SKS. In C tier, we have the M1911. The M1911 is somewhat consistent and somewhat not. Sometimes it's a laser beam, and sometimes its horizontal recoil is very, very brutal. In F tier, we have the Deagle and the FNP. The Deagle is so random and aggressive that people have invented a strategy with it where you basically just quickscope with it to completely invalidate the recoil of this weapon. This is common with other weapons too, but it's not as helpful as it is with the Deagle. The FNP is also here, having some of the most outrageous horizontal recoil ever. And this gun is barely better than the Glock, yet has quadrupled the amount of recoil, and a sight picture that feels completely off-center, forcing you to download a custom crosshair for it. Well, that's basically it for this video. I hope this video taught you something about recoil and helps you get better at it. But I also hope you understand why the system isn't that great in a game like Criminality, and why it should be changed to a more skill-based version. Thank you for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video.